What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea FIFA 17 career mode where we continued our poor form last time out. Getting battered at home by Crystal Palace. You can see we are dangerously, dangerously close to getting the sack now. Managerial rating down to 57. I literally think a bad result in either of today's two games could result in us losing our job here at Stamford Bridge. And a lot of you guys have also said you want to go to three games per episode. The only reason I haven't done that is because I just don't have the time. What I want to do is keep the episode short but start uploading more regularly. I'd rather upload daily than upload sort of a three game episode every other day. So let me know what you guys think on that. And also regarding Football Manager, that's obviously just come out. Very good game, popular amongst a lot of football fans. I ran a Twitter poll and 86% of you said you'd be interested in seeing some Football Manager content go up on this channel. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. But Back to this episode, we're kicking off with a home tie against Ajax in the Champions League. We're halfway through the group stage and this is how it looks when it eventually loads. We are sat third in the group. Ajax and Bilbao joint top on five points. Sporting struggling with just the one draw, but this is a massive fixture. I think whoever wins this one between ourselves and Ajax really have a massive advantage going into the final group two, uh, final two group stage games when it comes to qualifying for the knockout stages of the competition. With our job status and managerial rating being as low as it has, as it is, we can't afford to lose this one. Lining up with the 4-4-2 formation, Benucci will partner JT at the back. Hugo Mayo comes in, Yannick Carrasco gets a game. He hasn't had a lot of first team opportunities lately. Hazard back in, expect big things from him. And this Ajax side, I said it last time, that there's no one there that really scares me, but yet in Amsterdam, they played some fantastic football and completely tore us apart, scoring probably the best team goal I've ever seen. Carrasco whips this corner to the edge of the box. It's knocked down by Hazard, hit by Verratti. That was going in. Oh, wow, what a follow-up. That was definitely heading in before it was blocked. Hazard with some space to run into. Doesn't often get caught once he stretches his legs, and he could be into the box here. He is. Can he finish or put it on a plate for somebody? Costa's arriving. Why didn't he hit it first time? I was banging the button. Hazard into Dybala. He's got Kante making a run, and he's in a bit of space. Not known for his goal scoring, but might finesse one here. That is a long way wide. I said he wasn't known for his goal scoring. We'll let him off. Hazard with the throw in. Finds Gaia. Got Costa inside. Needs to make himself a bit of space. It's very congested. Verratti looks to turn. Plays a good ball through. Dybala on the turn. It's a decent stop. If that was on his left foot, we were 1-0 up there. Carrasco whips in the corner. It's going to be challenged. Diego Costa in a bit of space. Oh, he's helped that back across. Goal beautifully. And Benucci slashes the shot wide. Ajax coming forward here. They go, putting a move together. That's the first real attack they've had. And the shot in the end was shocking. Verratti trying to win it back. Ajax coming forward though. This is where they're dangerous, Ajax. They love to move the ball quickly. Sharp, that's amazing play. Shot comes in. You can't defend that. It's just too quick. Ajax have themselves the first corner. Oh, it's not cleared properly. It's worked into the box. Need to defend this. Kante does just enough to put him off so he can't strike it cleanly. And Leno, for the second time in a minute, makes another good stop. Ajax right, coming forward again. Oh, that's a good move. Oh, I can't believe this. For all of our domination, we've dominated the opening 40 minutes of this game without scoring. They've had two, maybe three chances. Bang. That's the difference. Just out of absolutely nothing. Space on the edge. Why's he got that? They're blocking JT off. And, oh. Ajax coming forward again here. If they double their lead before half time, we are in big trouble. With one possession back. Is there one last chance for us? Costa's nursing a bit of a knock, which is not what we need. Dabala, that's lovely footwork. Costa will take over. We're running out of time. We have run out of time. 1 0. Half time. Got to turn this around. Got to. Those Dutch fans are delighted with what they've seen so far. So Costa, who's injured, is coming off. And Loic Remy, who has had very little game time, has got a good opportunity here. No one else is playing well, so why not give him a shot? Hugo Mayo, good ball. Carrasco's got space down the right-hand side. He is quick. Gets into the box. Can he get a shot away here? Tight angle, Yannick Carrasco. Absolutely beautiful. You beauty. How has he squeezed that in from there? I've got no idea. Great pace. Great pace. And then that finish is... That's unstoppable. You would argue that keeper shouldn't be beaten from that angle, but he's not gonna he's not gonna pick that out. We've got another man down and it's Verratti. He's key. I do not need him getting injured and the ref stopped the game. 
Oh, injury problems are starting to plague us massively in this series. Ross Barkley's going to come on, even though he's not fully fit. Barkley touches the ball onto Hazard, who's been extremely quiet. You can see, though, Carrasco's made a good run. Can he grab another goal? It's a tight angle. Want to get the shot away. Carrasco, it's a good save. Is that going to go for a court? No, it's a throw-in. Taken by Hazard. Here is Dybala. On to Ross Barkley. Needs a bit of space. Creates a bit of space. Hits the shot, Ross Barkley! Take a bow, son. Take a bow. That is a beautiful goal. That was some strike from Ross Barkley. It's what you pay the money for. Needed that. Needed that. Look at that. He just created half a yard for himself and then struck it back across into that bottom corner. Keeper's going to have seen that late. There was two or three defenders in the way, but he's just not getting near it. Not getting near it at all. Ajax throwing bodies forward, just lumping it long. John Terry and Bonucci doing a great job. Just heading these balls away. Here's Ross Barkley. He's got Remy on the right-hand side. Do we go to the corner or do we go for another goal? I'm going to go for goal. It's Dybala on a plate straight at the goalkeeper. Should have taken a touch. So just over a minute remaining. Ajax with a set piece. They launch it forward. It's headed away by John Terry. Serrero gets there, but Hugo Mayo with a lovely foot in. And Remy's made a good forward run. He's been picked out. He's got two defenders ahead of him. Can he beat them or can he pass it? I think I'm going to pass it left. Should have beaten him. Barkley, though, flicks the ball on. Dabala. Hazard. Can we wrap this game up? Hazard skips inside. Finesses one. It's poor. But that should, should be the last action of this game. And it is. We needed that. I think a loss there. I say it every time because we are literally on the brink of getting the sack. Look how happy those fans are. We needed that, not only in terms of our job, but also in terms of our Champions League progression. Big, big turnaround. You can see how much we dominated. And it's been a story of a lot of our games this season, but we're just not taking our chances. Should have put more than two. I mean, the two goals we scored were arguably the most difficult chances we had. I mean, just looking at the replays, that one from Diego as well. We're just not getting the rub of the green. Bit of a nightmare on the injury front. Verratti's got a broken elbow. He's going to be out for the next two months. That is not what we need. Diego Costa, a little bit less serious, but still annoying. Three weeks out with a sprained knee. Players come to us as well. Zuma, a bit worried. Oh, no, we don't want to lose Kurt. Don't want to lose Kurt. Might give him some game time. He's one for the future, for sure. So a trip to St Mary's awaits us now against the Southampton side that have only won once in the Premier League so far this season. They're down in 17th. I don't know how they're struggling with that squad. They've got two proven goal scorers up front in Charlie Austin and Shane Long. They've got B Belanda. Bufal is on the bench. That's a problem for a start. And Tadic. We've gone back to a 4-3-3 today. There may be a few uh, surprising names in that lineup, but we're hit with injuries. Costa, Griezmann, Verratti, Loftus-Cheek all out. So we've got to make the best of what we got. Here's Charlie Austin. Oh, he skips past Varane, who just dangles a leg out again. We know he's got a tendency of doing that. Balanda puts the ball across. Marcus Alonso, cool as you like at the back post. Oh, good challenge from Lewis Baker. Draxler, back to Baker. Back to Julian Draxler. What can he do with it here? He's got a few men to beat and he's done very well to work his way inside. Hits one Draxler but doesn't strike it cleanly. Good positive signs though. Hazard in to Ross Barkley. Scored that beauty last time out. Picks out Lewis Baker here who could be in. Can he finish Baker? He's hit the post. Comes out to Hazard who hits it first time. Not sure why. Real opportunity. This is what I'm talking about. About taking chances. Maybe could have gone closer with Baker. Maybe should have finessed it. One for Dybala to chase. And he might get there as well. He's very quick. He has got there somehow. Skips past his man. Finds Hazard. Might give it back to Dybala. Can't get it there. Keeps possession. No, we'll lay it off. It's hit by Baker. He looks dangerous. He was caught as well. Surprised the ref hasn't given a free kick there. Here's Lewis Baker. He's had a good start to this game so far. Can take. Back to Baker. Going to hit this one. Lewis Baker on his left foot. Wow. What a strike from the youngster. He's really seizing these first team opportunities so far. It was good play. Baker started the move, found Barkley into Kante. Nice reverse pass and a first time shot. Superbly taken. Barkley spreads play to Marcus Alonso. Rare start for him. Hopefully he can take his opportunity like some of the others. Here is Kante. On to Draxler. Nice touch. Picks out Azpilicueta. Captain for the day. Skips inside. Can he finish? I thought that flew top. I'd have gone mental. Unlucky Caesar or Dave. Oh, what a ball that is. There's some space out on the left for Bertrand, former Chelsea man and Champions League winner. Header comes in. Leno equal to it. Here's Ruben Neves. Last chance of the half probably for Southampton. 
Shane Long out wide. Turns Varane. Puts the ball in. Should be keeper's ball. And is. Referee. Please blow the half-time whistle so we can go in and regroup. There you go. He has done. 1-0 so far. Well deserved. Charlie Austin skips inside. Early attack in the second half for Southampton. Oriol Romeo looking to turn. I just want to stand up and not give any space away. Cedric back to Romeo. Shot is no real danger. Leno with the save again. Oh! Charlie Austin's just been given a straight red. Out of absolutely nowhere. I was skipping the replay because it looked like a fair challenge to me. I didn't even think it was a foul. So I was just... Button bashing, but I will I will let it play in slow motion. How on earth is this a straight red card? He's just oh you can't really see it from there. Let me do an instant replay from a uh, a better angle. See, it looked like this was an honest attempt to play the ball, and it looked like he got a foot on it. But looking at the replay, he didn't, and he's just studded Zuma in the back of the leg. Maybe it was a red card. Shane Long, oh, that's a nice ball to Belanda. Bit of a gap opening up in our defence, even though Southampton are now down to ten. They've worked that well. Leno with a good reaction stop. Corner whipped in. Danger zone. Leno comes. Doesn't get there. Alonso has to head it off the line. Leno this time gratefully clutches the ball to his chest. Oh, this game is opening up now. Here's Ruben Neves. Oh, that's Pilaqueta. That's nice. And it's like a pendulum. We're going the other way now. Kante chips it over the top for Julian Draxler. Controls it well. Goes past his man. Keeps possession. Plays it into Dabala. Good turn. Can he finish? Oh, this guy gets no luck. No luck at all. What's the referee given here? Shown a yellow card to Yoshida. No idea why. Southampton coming forward despite our numerical advantage. That's a nice turn. That's not good defending. Oh, Azpilicueta's lunged in as well. Got nowhere near the ball. They're in here. Bertrand shoots. Saved by Leno. Cleared by Zuma. Worrying times. Although, we've got plenty of space. Baker finds Dabala. This must be it. You told me to finesse with Dabala. So I'm going to do just that. I'll do it more often. <sighs> I'm so relieved just to kill this game, to be fair. I thought the pattern was going to continue where we dominate, dominate, dominate and then concede and even go on to maybe lose the game. But with 10 men, we've managed to just pick Southampton off and Dybala's grabbed a goal. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. There we go. Full-time whistle's gone. Two wins from two. Double trouble. Don't know when the last time we've done that in an episode was. Winning both of our games, but it's exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. Southampton was struggling anyway down in 17th. When Charlie Austin got sent off, it was really an uphill battle for them. I'm just glad that we've managed to see it through. In our Champions League group, the other result was a draw, which means we go top of that with two games remaining. And in the Premier League, we've jumped up to 11th. Title defence still not going to plan, but we are only 11 games in. I said it could all change. We're only 10 points off third if you want to look on the bright side. City lead the way. Palace are still flying. They're up in second. Just a point behind. Spurs, Liverpool and Leicester, third, fourth and fifth. Um, fifth? Fifth. United, Arsenal and us take up those three mid-table positions. So a lot of the big teams are struggling. Down at the bottom, Everton are in 16th. They had a poor season last year and that looks to continue. We've obviously already snatched Ross Barkley. Might try and get Lukaku on the cheap as well. Southampton, who we just beat, are down in 17th. And Brighton, still struggling, yet to win a Premier League game. But that will bring this episode to a close, guys. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts on Football Manager content, whether you'd be interested in seeing some of that. But um, for now, drop this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time.